What is up guys, this is Tim Sai here today, welcome back to another Black Ops 4 Zombies video, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how to level up faster in Black Ops 4 Zombies. First things first, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Christmas if you celebrate it. I decided to post this video specifically on Christmas because some of you guys might have just gotten the game and I figured it was a perfect time to make a video like this, so without further ado, let's get right into the tips. My first tip is going to be geared towards people who are below level 15, but you can still use this tip whenever you prestige. So let's say you're at level 1, you just boot up the game or you just prestige, you really don't have a good selection of perks to choose from. I mean, the perks are decent, but you're going to want to have better perks in your setup. Just choose whatever perks are currently available. You're not necessarily going to be needing perks yet. Elixirs are kind of useless anyway at the moment, so don't stress over what elixirs to equip. You can always use whatever preset elixirs you have. Now that you got your setup, what you're going to want to do is select Rush Mode in the menus. Rush Mode is a really good mode in Black Ops for Zombies that is not only fun, but a good way to get a lot of XP in the earlier levels. Rush Mode is very self-explanatory. All mystery boxes are enabled, Pack-a-Punch and all perks and wall buys are free, and the objective is you have to survive as long as possible and try to get your multiplier and score up as high as you can. I personally recommend playing Rush Mode on 9, which is a on-disc map. You can play Rush Mode on Voyage of Despair and Blood of the Dead as well, but in my opinion, it's much more easier to go on 9 when playing Rush Mode. You should be at level 15 after around 3-4 to four games, depending on your score. And once you're at level 15, you can stop playing Rush Mode if you wish. Now that I assume you're at least level 15 at this point, let's go into the next few tips. Second tip is going for high rounds. The reason why I wanted you to play Rush Mode until you hit level 15 is because one of the perks you're going to be using doesn't unlock until level 14. Now, equip the perks Dying Wish, Victor's Tortoise, Stone Cold, Stronghold, and have Time Slip as your Tonic perk. You can equip any specialist weapon, but for Chaos maps, I prefer the specialist weapon Viper and Dragon. For Efer maps, I like using the Ragnarok DG4s. Once you're in whatever map you chose, build the shield on Link Shield Park Guides for all maps in the description below. Get all your perks and wherever you built the shield, camp there. You're going to want to use your shield to kill every zombie that comes near your path. Once you run out of ballistic shield bullets, just rebuy ammo at the shield crafting table. If your shield breaks quickly, buy another shield. Since you're going to be camping right at the shield crafting table, you don't have to worry about zombies killing you while you rebuy a shield. The strategy works best on classified and dead of the night. I'm not entirely sure if this strat works on Voyage of Despair and Blood of the Dead. If I remember correctly, Nine's shield is a bit different, so I wouldn't suggest using this strat on Nine, but whenever you use this strategy, Stop the game once you reach round 50. You can go to round 100 if you wish, but make sure you're keeping track of your progress. If you're on round 87 for example, and you're not getting XP anymore, quit the game. No use forcing yourself to go higher when you're not going to earn any more XP. Like I said, if you want to reach around 100, go right on ahead, but if you just want to grind some levels, quit as soon as you reach max level or take a break once you hit round 50. Depending on what level you are, you probably won't reach max rank even if you reach around 100, assuming double XP isn't enabled. If double XP is enabled, you'll hit max rank very easily. Now going on to the third and final tip, do easter eggs and calling card challenges. If you have the Black Ops Pass, I recommend doing the Easter Eggs for Dead of the Night and Classified. Those eggs are pretty fun and fairly short, especially Classified. Classified will only take you 30 minutes max. If you don't have the Black Ops Pass, probably do the 9 Easter Egg. I heard Voyage of Despair's Easter Egg is tedious, so I personally wouldn't recommend it. Calling card challenges are very straightforward. There are challenges like consuming a certain amount of elixirs, pack punching your weapons a certain amount of times, etc, etc. I almost have all challenges done, and that's from casually playing. You'll probably get a lot of challenges done by the time you first prestige, so it's honestly like free XP. But that's going to be it for this video, the best ways to level up faster in Black Ops 4 Zombies. If this video has helped you out in some shape or form, be sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a like down below. But my name is Tim Tanaya here. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Just keep those positive eyes flowing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.